Good afternoon, dear friends. This is Saturday. My greetings to all of you to our webinar on blockchain. And many of you are looking forward to learning the latest updates. You are regular attendees of our webinars, but I hope there are those who are the first time at such a webinar. My name is Maria Antonenko. I live in Russia, Moscow, and in the group of companies New, I am the head of the blockchain technology department. I have had 20 years experience in finance and large corporations, and over the last three years, I am not going to my work. I do my passion and over the last three years I've been studying cryptocurrency market, took some training in legal regulation of cryptocurrencies and indeed there are those things unless you apply them in practice, press the buttons with your own hands, you won't realize how it operates. And in due time, I actually had my account in Binance, the Russian uh, exchange X Finance. Now it is uh, international. But when it all started, we thought that only pupils, uh, school pupil, pupils are there. There was such a joke. One guy gets a phone call. Uh, do you sell bitcoins and he whispers yes i do and why are you whispering because i'm having my math classroom at school so it seemed that school pupils were trading in bitcoin whereas now this system of uh, uh, stock exchange of this exchange frameworks are quite widespread there are telegram boards and through the website, actually, you can sell and buy Bitcoins. And in our company, the group of companies new, we launched the program, CIU program, launched last year. And it was targeted. It is still functional, you know this. It aims at the building of the global investment portfolio. Next slide, please. Many people are worried about further development of this program. What will happen to crypto unit and other tokens? When will we be able to freely exchange our tokens? These are the concerns and worries of all those people who are together with us over one year or those who joined actually a few months ago. But there are those who will join our company tomorrow or the day after tomorrow in, few, in the future. But I encourage you to attend our summary webinar on the 5th of September. And at this webinar, the management of the company report and is accountable to you about the achievements and accomplishments. So I see the hint that this is 17 months uh, precisely since the launch of the crypto unit program so please put into your schedule the date next saturday to attend that summary webinar to learn the latest news about our investments in different sectors including basalt gold but today we will discuss blockchain and our tokens whereas all the matters related to the portfolio will be presented next saturday September 2020 is indeed a very important, very exciting month to come. There will be different news promotions as September is the month at the threshold of our birthday. There is another month left to our birthday, which will be busy with different events. We were all looking forward to the internal exchange, the so-called internal exchange, which was scheduled to happen in August, but because to some specific reasons, 
it was postponed to the 2nd of September. I will enumerate all these reasons, but most importantly, on September the 1st, we move to stage four of our crypto unit program. Those who are our long lasting partners, you know what it means, movement to the next stage. It means change of the discount. When you buy EIPs, uh, bonus CIU points from the 1st of September, you will get them less than now in August, for example. And therefore, all those partners, our newcomers, who still consider the opportunity of buying CIU points with a package or at the exchange, please do the math and estimate the cost efficiency of this decision, either now in December with a discount or in September and starting from the 2nd of, of September through the internal exchange. But we will discuss it in detail. Next slide, please. Why was the launch postponed to the 2nd of September? Look, at the eve of Golden Friday, we noticed and observed the hot demand at our website. The packages were sold out very quickly. It happens even now. If you don't know about Golden Friday, please read the chats or contact the people who invited you or go to our website. You will get the news. Golden Friday means discounts for educational packages, those that include financial literacy courses, as well as uh, bonus CI, uh, CIU token points. You will get them as a bonus, as a gift. And on the eve of Golden Friday, there, will be, there would be double load on the server. The people who would like to see the functionality of the internal exchange, not simply to sell or buy, but because of curiosity to find out how internal exchange is operational, how the diagrams change. People would spend hours at our website simply to watch like a movie or a cartoon uh, which they don't still understand and this load on the server could affect actually the situation that those people willing to buy their EIPs with discounts as part of Golden Friday the um, website uh, the server could collapse, the money could be stuck somewhere, and therefore we decided not to load our server with this double load. And therefore, for you to understand that every month 400,000 people go to our website, visit our website. We reviewed Google Analytics, and at peak moments of this load, during on the days of Golden Friday or when there was a movement to the next stage on the 15th of January, every day from uh, 50 to 70,000 people visit our website. And on the date of the launch of the internal exchange combined with Golden Friday, there could be up to uh, 200 people, 200,000 people visiting our website. Therefore, we decided to separate these flows and uh, to separate the dates of these events. This is the key reason. The second reason is the following. When, shortly before, we announced that on Monday or Tuesday, the internal exchange will be functional on these dates, when we expected to launch the internal exchange and this subdomain we have mycryptounit.com and there inside it where you go to the advertising board this subdomain was attacked and did uh, ddos attack was spotted from the usa or man 
uh, but we believe it was done through VPN. Someone sitting from Russia could have uh, attacked us, but through VPN sent actually packages as an appeal to our server. There were two attacks. In the left-hand corner, there was a large package sent of such messages and then a smaller one. And we realized that we have, I don't know how to call it. So they are those damage makers. They are those haters who would like to cause harm to the company and actually collapse the launch of the process. And you understand that at the eve of Golden Friday, a movement to another stage, we decided not to gamble and to prevent an opportunity, to avoid an opportunity for these people to collapse our website. And therefore, we took some protection measures. My leaders already criticized me that there are a lot of technical webinars, but please be mindful that we are under a keen eye of many people and we have some bad people, I would call them this way, who would like to harm us and we protect ourselves from them. And the third reason why we postponed the internal exchange launch to the 2nd of September is our movement to the fourth stage. On the 4th of September, we move to stage four and the discount will be lower and accordingly the price of CIU point will go up. So the company while selling educational packages and if we calculate how many CIU points are included into the packages EIPs, the average price of one CIU point sold in a package will be 30 cents only. And therefore, this movement to stage four will result in the price of the CIU point, but already released CIUs in the internal exchange. Hopefully, you understand that it was the grounded and justified decision. The decision was made by the presidential council headed by Andrei Havratov. We had everything prepared for the launch, but after weighing all these pros and cons, cons, the decision was made to postpone it to the 2nd of September. Next slide. And here I'd like to remind you that the internal exchange and staking for the released CIU points is accessible only for VIP club members and a bonus 150 CIU points as a gift for those who will join the VIP club um, for the first time will be accrued only before the launch of the internal exchange, meaning before the 2nd of September. There are a few days left when you can become a member of the VIP club, you are interested in internal exchange, in staking, you may find interest in data mining license and you need to become a member of the VIP club of the VIP club. And if you make your subscription fee for the first time until the 2nd of September, you will get 150 CIU points as a gift. And at the bottom of my slide, you see the table of staking in the back inside the back office. What does this mean? Look, the partners who have been cooperating with us for the second year after 350 days, the release was launched. And this release is done following this schedule. The first six months, 1% a month, the second six months, 1.5% a month, and etc. And many partners who are with the crypto unit program starting from March 2019, this is the seventh month, meaning that 1.5% of their CIUs are released starting from August. These CIU points inside the back office, you can put, you can deposit like with the bank. You can uh, stake it with the company for some period. And the staking started uh, this May, 
when the first release was done, was complete, and some selected to stake for one month, meaning that at the end of the month, these released CIU points will be given back to his balance to his back office and he gets uh, one percent as a gift in the form of CIU points. There were those who staked for three uh, months and the package of the released CIU points staked for three months. This package stays with the company for three months and uh, the interest is 1.2 percent every month you get um, as an interest of CIU points. There were those who staked for 24 months and the deposit has been from May to July, August and then September, so five months in total. And every month their portfolio gets an interest of 2.5 in CIU, in release CIU points. So the points uh, accrued or as an interest are already released. This is what is going to happen to this staking inside the back office in September. Staking inside back office will be over on the 1st of October at the interest you selected earlier. In case in May, June, July or August or even September you staked or will stake at the interest for 24 months, you will get on the 1st of October. So we will actually sum up the totals on the 1st of October. You will get all your interests for September. In June, you already got this interest in July and you will actually accrue only for September upon the tariff selected and all your CIU points, even you stake them for 18 or 24 months, automatically they will be brought back to your portfolio. You do not need to terminate early this staking because if you do it early, then it will be recalculated to say you staked for 24 months, two years, but your CIU points were staked only within three months. And if voluntarily you actually terminate the contract of staking on your own, at your own discretion, then these release CIUs for three months will be recalculated at the interest 1.2, whereas initially you staked it at 2.5. So if you terminate the contract voluntarily, it will be recalculated at the interest of the period which actually was the actual uh, staking with the actual staking period. So the company accrued 2.5, for example, and you terminate it voluntarily, then it will be recalculated. But in case you staked and calmly wait for the 1st of October to come, then all the staking interests for September will be at the tariff at the interest with no recalculation. Please understand this difference. So, and the staking inside the back office will be complete on the 1st of October. As on the 1st of October, we will migrate to blockchain. But it does not mean that staking is over on the 1st of, uh, on the 1st of October and we immediately run to blockchain. We will uh, validate all the balances, all the accruals. It will, so this inspection, this examination will take a few days and then we will open our cryptocurrencies. Next slide, please. Dear friends, an incredible, a phenomenal news for you. So please be attentive while listening or reading. As soon as you read or hear myself, you will understand this fantastic 
opportunities in September. Since September is the last month for staking for unlocked CIU points inside your back office, it means that in September in particular, you can buy unblocked CIU points at the internal exchange and stake them inside the back office to get as well by the 1st of October the unblocked CIU points. Even if you buy unlocked CIU points on the 2nd September, 15th September, or even 29th of September and stake them at the interest for two years, then by the 1st of October, you will get 2.5 interest in CIU points as if they were staked for the entire month. This is a gift uh, to the birthday of the company, this unique opportunity. And this opportunity that these uh, um, unlocked CIU points could be staked and even get an interest of 2.5 fully, this opportunity of staking will increase the demand for unlocked CIU points at the internal exchange. And in case you believe that we will be in a hurry and for almost nothing, we'll be ready to sell our points at five or 15 cents, these people are mistaken because this chance to get CIU points with an, an interest of 2.5% this is one in a lifetime chance. You won't actually get it at the external exchange. This unique opportunity will be open only in September. If you still don't understand what I've said, please make a screenshot of this slide to read it in detail and to marinate, to digest this unique opportunity open to you in September. Uh, devoted to the launch of the internal exchange and the opportunity to stake your CIU points and even it is half months and get all your release CIU points by the 1st of October. Is it great? Next slide, please. Well, as far as the internal exchange launch is concerned, we discussed it in detail last Saturday, but I would like to reiterate it for those who did not attend the last webinar. So how the internal functionality of the external exchange is going to look like. So you go to the tab exchange unit CRU, you will see the chart. It will be the candlestick stick chart. You can uh, click on the market size and uh, you will see the uh, volume, the supply and demand then you will go to the next uh, let's go to the next slide you go to the screen below and you will see the field for placing your exchange orders there are two exchange orders the market order and the limit order so if you would like to place your market order you will see the best market price at the current moment. If you are okay with the current market price, then you will put for exchange as many CRU points as you want to on the right side. It's the blue button. And if you want to buy unlocked CRU points to later stake them, you use the left part, the green button. So we exchange units for unlocked CRU points. The market price is tentative. If you have a big package, then the market, the internal mechanism, will start filling your order by taking small orders around. So everything that fits the market price, it can be a little bit higher, a little bit lower. It will be like an aggregate combined order made up of small orders. And the actual purchase price will be very close to the market price, like 0 0.35, 0 0.30. Whereas the limit order 
is when you put a fixed price on your exchange. And at that exact price, the internal exchange mechanism will be fulfilling your order. Not plus minus, more or less, but the exact limit price that you set. So this is the difference. With the limit order, you set the price. If you want to sell it at $1, you set $1. If you want to sell it at 50 cents, you set it 50 cents. Here, it is up to you to decide what kind of a strategy you want to build, like trading strategy. You can either match it to the market or you set the trend because when you're setting the limit order, you are showing your intention, how you would like to sell or at what price you would like to sell your CRU points or buy them. Guys, all the questions should be written down in the questions and answers section. Nobody's gonna read the entire chat, just heads up, okay? So your open orders, if you set a limit order, then you have to notice this percentage line. So the limit order will be filled slowly because it will be made up of small, smaller orders that whose price has to match the, your, your price that you put. So for example, you put up an order of selling 10,000 CRU points at $2 and then you'll see if there are any counter orders. And you can see that your order was filled by 26.9%. And then you'll have to wait until the entire order is filled. And if you do not uh, notice that percentage bar and cancel it, then your order will not be filled. You will have only the amount you of CRU points exchange, or let's say you will get only the field amount of, um, of your order. Like in this case, 27, if you click cancel. Also, we have the order books, you know, and in, in those order books, you can see how many offers at which price are in the book order. Someone placed their order at uh, 0.1, 0.2, um, or 1.2, 1.8, 0.8, something like that. And if the orders are matched, then it's filled and the sale is carried out. So let's switch on to the next slide. Now here you can see the history of filled orders or canceled orders. So this is your history of orders. All of the orders that were filled or that were canceled by you. Now, next slide, please. And it's quite a long field. And because inside your back office, we are quite limited by the size of the screen and we have news wallets on the same screen. So our exchange is quite elongated. And in the bottom, you will see the recent exchanges. And before you put up your own exchange order, assess the market situation using this list, the last filled orders. If you are not like capable of reading the chart, so you can take a look at the table of recent filled orders, which represents the chart, the number of CRU points, price, and how many of them were exchanged at that price. So if you take a look at the recent exchanges, you will see what the current market situation is. Next slide, please. So friends, be quite careful when moving to the new internal exchange, do not hurry to place your exchange order for CAU points in the first hours after the exchange is launched. Just take your time and do small steps. 
put your orders in small sizes because our minimum order is one unit or 10 CRU points. Do not try to put up your order for 1000 CRU points or 10,000 CRU points. Do it bit by bit. Just familiarize with this new tool if it's exchange is a new thing for you and do those small careful steps to put up your exchange orders in order not to make a mistake. Well, we already mentioned the load on the server. We tried to set up two additional servers. It's called horizontal scaling. And also we have a tool in order to set up the site visit line or queue in order not to prevent the server from crashing because we are kind of concerned that will be a big like a lot of people willing to use the exchange and we just have to endure for a day you know and then it's gonna be okay and also you can um, for example experienced traders uh, will put up orders in big bulks in bean packages and it might um, you know, confuse you and you might be willing to sell your CRU points at a very low price and you might then complain about it. But guys, everything that you sell on the exchange cannot be returned. So if you sell your CRU points and somebody bought them, we cannot revoke those points if you sell them at the low price because it's like a big, I don't know, cauldron, you know, like a big boiling pan and all of the orders are filled not in one go, but in bits by bits. So we won't be able to restore the order in its original form. So if you sell your um, CRU points, they cannot be reimbursed. That's it. And no matter how well the e IT guys work on it, it's impossible. So do not hurry to sell, okay? Okay, guys, the next slide is not a new slide for people who regularly visit our webinars, but let me tell you still about it. So crypto unit is our security token and the maximum issue is 80 billion shares, digital shares. Hence, we have 80 billion crypto units. UNTB is a utility token of our blockchain. It can be compared to Ethereum token, which is used for writing smart contracts to promote other tokens on Ethereum blockchain. And they call it gas on the Ethereum blockchain. So UNTB as a utility token will work in a similar fashion. It will be used to write smart contracts to issue new, new talk tokens on our blockchain. And then you use those UNTBs to buy computational power, speed, memory, etc. So everything that you can buy on our blockchain is, buy, is bought using UNTBs. So either you need to open your own wallet or for example, you are a business that wants to have several wallets opened like a corporation. So UNTB is necessary to get access to the blockchain. USDU is our digital dollar. It will be on par with the dollar equal to $1. And USDU will not be issued unless the exact amount of US dollars are placed on a real bank account or in a crypto wallets USDT. It's Tether um, currency. They are circulated across the world. It's a US stable coin. So we can issue, we can issue one USDU only if it's backed by one fiat dollar or by one USDT placed in crypto wallets or real bank accounts. Okay. Now next slide, please. And going forward, 
I would like to tell you how your crypto wallet is going to look like already in October. So using the um, link in your back office, you go to the blockchain explorer and you can see your tokens on the blockchain explorer. And for now you will be able to see only CRU tokens. Whereas in the crypto wallet, when the issue of UNTB is going to be affected, uh, you will see the balance of your CRU tokens, UNTB tokens and USDUs. The blue button is to send, the green button is to receive from staking, obviously. And also inside your wallet, there will be, you will be shown how many network resources your wallet is using. So on the black background, you can see three circles, yellow, green, and red. This is the capacity. So if the circle is almost filled, it means that you have almost no free memory or computational power, so-called CPU or access. So inside your wallet, you can see what you lack, what you miss, what kind of a network resource you need. And it will mean that you'll have to buy more UNTBs and then using those UNTBs, you can either buy memory, RAM, or the um, CPU, the computational power. Now also on our blockchain today, you can already go to the blockchain explorer and see the blockchain statistics. Today, the entire crypto unit blockchain occupies 16 gigabyte. So those servers that we rent, more than 50% of it have been occupied and so next month we're gonna buy one more server. So the more transactions, the more partners we have, we will gradually expand our blockchain by opening or launching or deploying another server. CPU stands for speed, or central processing unit, but in this case it's speed. So you can see that it takes 0.19 seconds to process one block. Remember at our previous uh, webinars, we said that the average speed for generating one block is half a second. But for now, when the blockchain is not overloaded with transactions, one block is generated in less than half a second. It is generated in uh, 0.19 seconds. And the capacity or the net limit, it shows that one block can contain one megabyte of information or uh, 1,024 kilobytes because it's not 1,000, it's 1,024. And this is how much information it can contain, one block. And if you go from your back office to the blockchain explorer and to your account, below you see it's um, selected in this square a violet square, purple square. You, but it's here it's not very visible, but you'll see it on the blockchain um, explorer. It can, you can see the RAM, CPU and net. It will show you how much memory your entries occupy. So you get 10 UNTBs, two of them are used for storing. It can be 16 or 17 kilobyte, it depends how active you are. If you made lots of purchases and you have lots of crypto units, or maybe you receive a lot of marketing plan bonuses, you will see that your RAM, CPU and net will differ from the RAM, CPU and net indicators in other accounts. It depends on how much, how many crypto units you have in your wallet. Also in October, when we move to blockchain, we will offer staking of CRUs in your wallet. Many people uh, think that we're gonna do the staking on exchange. It's, that's not correct. Exchange used, external exchange can be used to buy and sell CRU points. 
So we buy and sell unlocked CRU tokens, and also we sell and buy UNTBs. Oh, sorry. CRU points, okay? Where a staking is carried out in your wallet. You'll have your wallet, and when you go inside, you will see how many unlocked CRU points, or CRU in this case, you will have. So on this slide, you can see that you have 37,000 unlocked CRUs, and you decide how, much, how many uh, CRU tokens you would like to stake, and in this case, it's 20,000, and 17 you keep to sell later. And a little bit lower, you will see that your crypto wallet shows you that the average profitability per 20,000 CRUs in UNTB tokens is this much. For example, this many tokens you get per minute. And on the left, there is a button, 20,000 CRUs, stake. You selected the amount. There are no time limitations here. And as soon as you fed up with receiving UNTBs from staking CRUs, you click unstake, which means withdrawing your CRU from staking. And it takes 20, 72 hours. So unstaking takes 72 hours. And you will see that in the green uh, column, you will see the, uh, how many UNTBs are added. Then one hour later, two hours later, you will check it again and you will see that the figure changed. And if you see that you have, I don't know, 100 UNTBs or even 1000 UNTBs, then you click the green button there on top, claim, which is like withdraw. So they are mined on servers. Whereas you see how many uh, UNTBs are mined, you know, in order, you can only see it in order not to like waste energy. So UNTBs are mined on nodes, on servers, and you just can claim them. And that's it. They get, go to your wallet, to the field that we just saw, you will have those live usable UNTBs, you can uh, use them and uh, you know, send them to your exchange or somewhere else. So from those wallets, you will be able to send unlocked CRU tokens and mined UNTBs from person to person. Maybe you won't need exchange anymore. Maybe you have such a big community, you get together in an office, you exchange tokens for dollars, rubles, for Indian rupees, whatever. So crypto wallets will enable you to do that. Hopefully guys, now when you saw the visual side of it, how staking on blockchain looks like, it's now more clear to you. Give me a plus in the chat if you now know how staking of CRUs uh, is done in order for you to produce or get UNTBs. Okay, great. I see lots of pluses. Good. Now and one more. Great news for you is the Golden Friday to be extended until the 31st of August as there is hot demand for our EIPs as part of Golden Friday. Therefore, the decision has been taken to extend this promotion at the threshold of our movement to the next stage and to give people the opportunity to get EIPs with uh, CIU points as a gift and at these great discounts. And many partners are still hesitant. They are thinking, I have money to say 225 units or 850 units. 
and what how should i what should i do best wait for the second september to come when exchange is on and then i will be able to buy released ciu points at five cents or ten cents then today i won't buy a discounted eip we'll expect for the exchange to come but look what may happen on the second of september first of all golden friday will be over eip price with uh, uh, crew points will with ciu points will be higher as we move to the second phase but at the exchange no one is selling at five cents they may sell at 50 cents or one us dollars there and this expectation that at the exchange there will be some hot sales so these expectations may not be a reality and you will miss this chance. Yes, you'd like to buy an EIP to expand, to widen your portfolio, to get more crypto units in your portfolio, but you are at the intersection, willing to expect for a chance to buy at the exchange, and this way will miss this opportunity to buy EIP as part of Golden Friday promotion. So my personal humble view, in this case, I would benefit from both of the options. So in a guaranteed way with good discounts at the fixed price, I will buy an EIP as part of Golden Friday promotion and a part of the money to say you have a thousand US dollars and you have the great opportunity to benefit from a discount you have 1000 to spare but you get an eip of 850 worth and you have another 150 uh, to spend on exchange in case there is this phenomenal uh, sales out and then you can buy tokens at low price but uh, with a guarantee, with some security, buy it here and never regret that you missed the Golden Friday. And there is another important thing to note, and I will actually stress it and will slow down for the interpreters to continue there to complete the interpretation about Golden Friday. I will get my glass of water, a sip of water. Look, another very important piece of news we have ready-made functionality for the purchase of EIPs by institutions, by legal entities, CIU EIPs to be bought by legal entities, not by individuals, but by institutions. What does this mean? An enterprise, a business can buy an EIP of 8,000 units worth and get as a gift, uh, bonus CIU points, the business, this legal entity, the expenditures for training in their balance sheets and accountancy will be viewed as the expenditures for their staff training, whereas the CIU points as a gift will be like bonus miles the airlines offer when a company buys an air ticket to his employee to go on a business trip then these bonus miles which are provided by the airlines they are accrued to a person himself so he was on business trips 10 times his business his company actually uh, reflected this as the travel expenditures whereas the bonus miles provided by the airlines they belong to this person not the company and then having these bonus miles he can go on holiday with his family and here the system is similar an institution a legal entity a business buys this educational and information package and gets digital assets as an a gift what do digital assets mean for the business 
under the accountancy, this is your financial investments. In case a, pers uh, a business would like to see in its balance sheet our digital assets, CIUs of UNTB, they will get as part of staking after staking. And since for the business, these tokens, these digital assets are free as a gift, in the balance sheet, they will be uh, there reflected at zero price to say a package of 8,000 units worth in their balance sheets, they will reflect it is non-tangible assets, uh, 10,000 units at the price zero as it is a gift. And as of the 31st of December, when the accounting department is summing up the fiscal year, the accountant views and looks at the price of the crypto unit at the external exchange, we will fix the price at the external exchange as the central banks do. The central bank of Russia fixes the exchange rate of euro and US dollars every time at 2 p.m. Moscow time. And this exchange rate is taken into account in all the contracts for experts inputs these are the rules which apply so the price is specified in the um, uh, foreign currency but the payment is done in the national currency at the fixed exchange rate on the specific date and similarly here there will be the statistics we will fix the price of ciu uh, of crypto units at the specific time uh, the presidential council will decide which time it is and the accounting department could independently have a look on the 31st of December. So what is the price of the 31st of September, 31st of December and etc. So according to the statistics at 12 noon Moscow time, the price of crypto unit is as such the accountant multiplies its 10,000 CIUs points and in the balance sheets will actually revalue it as 10,000 US dollars. And look, from zero, the price was zero, then the business will have to um, pay profit tax and all the financial investments of the company are done through the net profits. I am announcing this to all our partners who have some friends as businessmen. You may come to them and tell them, wow, great, today you may, your business may get some educational packages for his staff, get these uh, tokens as a gift and then sell them at the exchange. And in case it is reflected in the balance sheets of this business, these uh, uh, gift uh, tokens, its initial price will be equal to zero, whereas the final price uh, will be at the, at the uh, external exchange price. And uh, this accrual, there should be a profit tax paid, but it is this prof profit tax is paid when they sell. When they simply reflect in the balance sheet a growth in the value of their assets. So under the balance sheet, they see the growth in the value of the assets. In case a company buys an office today, its value is 1 million US dollars or 100,000. Uh, one year after, you can revaluate this value. And in case the prices of real estate go up, then the balance sheet uh, uh, value actually goes up. To say it is not 100,000, but 150,000. And the same applies to a portfolio in digital assets, unless it is sold, this portfolio, then in the balance sheet, it will be reflected as an asset with a growing value. But as soon as it is sold or a part of the package is sold at the exchange, then they will actually reflect it as their revenues and will pay the profit tax. This is the great news. I do know that there are a lot of businesses that have been verified. They are to actually fill out their bank account like a bank transfer following the bank details of the company or 
by using the management um, card, bank card, connected to the corporate account. So there are corporate Visa or MasterCards and you can top out your account and make this purchase for the legal entities, for institutions. This is a fabulous news. I hope you are all inspired. So the next slide here, we have a part questions and answers. I will read your questions. There is Google form already ready for myself. I see you are all excited, but there are a lot of questions as well. Well, here they are. If in case my one month staking will be over on the 24th of September, could I, after staking the CIUs again, can get my interest for the whole September? Yes, you can. This is a unique opportunity open to get it once again. The order for it at the internal exchange, which is limited or fixed, is it daily or will be extended, prolonged until it is executed? Now it's time free. You can cancel it manually. Can we donate our CIU to anyone without any price set? When we migrate to blockchain and you have your cryptocurrency, then you can, your released CIU points, token points, uh, CIU tokens, send and donate to your friends and relatives with non-released will stay in your cryptocurrency. Yes, with no commission, with no charge, you can donate anyone in this case. What are your expectations about the CIU price at the launch of the external exchange? Look, when the external exchange is uh, launched, these are not our expectations. We'd like to see it as a reality at the price of 50 cents, but better one US dollar. These are our plans. This is our wish. There will be a lot of events in October before we migrate to the external exchange. And I believe they will boost the price of our crypto unit. I am a newcomer and understands quite poorly everything. How can I stake our uh, points in the back office and how long should I need to be VIP club member to be able to stake? Look, you buy the subscription fee of the VIP club once today, you get another 150 CIU as a gift and it is in effect, the subscription is in effect for one uh, month. Today is the 28th of August. Then it will be in effect until the 28th of September. And your CIU points, which you have in your portfolio, they should be released. You can stake them. Will there be peer-to-peer -peer exchange? And what are the volumes? Inside the back office, exchange, peer-to-peer -peer exchange will not be available only through the exchange. It will be possible. Do I need to continue my contract with the VIP club to stake my CIU at blockchain? No, dear friends, at blockchain, it is anonymous. You and the VIP club will have no connection there. So there you will stay simply because of being a partner of the CIU company. Will you charge a commission when we sell, uh, when we send CIU from one wallet to another? There is no commission inside our blockchain. The only thing to note and to detect is the memory of your uh, wallet to have sufficient RAM and RAM could be bought, additional RAM could be bought by using UNTB. In case the sales is done inside the back office, 
where will I get my units? To the bonus account in the uh, back office? Yes, to your bonus account. When you sell your released CIU points, units will be accrued to your bonus account. How? There is a question. In case Andrei Havratov staked all his CIU points at blockchain for UNTB mining, does this mean that no one else will get anything? Look, you see that Andrei Havratov has a large package of CIUs and it will be, you will get it proportionally, proportionally to your staking. The volume of staking, the one with the higher volume, will get more, but not only Andrei Havratov has large uh, crypto units packages. A lot of our leaders, members of the presidential council, they do have large packages as well. And look, they deserve these high rewards as they worked hard and a lot for all of us to get this opportunity. Therefore, Please do not approach it and uh, see what is happening in the greenhouse of another person. So be mindful about your wallet only. Can I cancel my staking contract now and restake my CIU for 24 months? If you cancel your actual staking now, then you, uh, your interest will be recalculated depending on the factual period of staking. Therefore, please uh, think it on your own whether it is reasonable to cancel the actual staking now. So pick up the calculator and do the math. Can we use our non-release CIUs for staking at blockchain? Look, non-released CIU and for staking at blockchain, there will be a separate procedure. So released CIU points will be staked at blockchain immediately. Whereas for the non-released, there will be for locked one, there will be a separate mechanism or procedure and closer to October, you will learn about this because there is almost one month ahead we don't want to make you busy your minds busy with these thoughts when will we get a functionality to see on which date this number of ciu points will be released it is not user friendly now you don't know when and how many will be released yes this assignment has already built assigned to our programmers, as soon as they are done with the internal exchange, they will design this function as well for you to see the date and the number of CIU points to be released and your accruals. Can we use our cryptocurrency wallets in October? We are to finalize everything with the back offices by the 1st of October to accrue all your staking interests complete all these payments and validate the balances. And then in October, we will move to cryptocurrencies. The news on CIU staking, the news was last week. This option is still preserved, but there will be since we actually register our uh, security token with uh, SEC, you may not actually send the unblocked token, uh, but there will be a separate webinar with the guidelines. Do we get the discount if we um, make a payment for the whole amount? I believe this is a question about the Golden Friday. Yes, the package the full package to be paid and then a discount at the end of the staking to say in three months when CIU are uh, returned, how will you spot out or distinguished originally blocked CIU from uh, unblocked? Inside the back office, there are two figures, the total number of CIUs and the total number of released CIUs. And after staking, the released will go to the category where they were. So we will not actually miss them. What will happen to UNTB if you don't use it? Nothing actually. They will be stored somewhere. They will be kept at 
somewhere at the warehouse, at the storage. They won't be in free market. They are accrued to your account. And unless you apply it, no one will use them except for yourselves. Can a person transfer CIU to a partner as a gift uh, without the exchange? No, inside the back office, you can't do it. But from your crypto wallets in October, you can do it. Please tell us once again how to stake CIU at blockchain. Look, you will watch the recording of this webinar and you will see the picture and will understand how to stake. The questions are repeated. So peer-to-peer -peer exchange, yes. Uh, for staking on the blockchain VIP club is not required. Can we join VIP club in September or October? Yes, you can. What are your expectations as regards the dividend income from CIU in 2023? Guys, it would be interesting to watch the recording of this webinar in 2023, three years after. But honestly, look, I am not a gypsy. I'm not a forward looker. I cannot make any forecasts, but my expectations at the end of 2020, we will start raising our capital through multi-level crowd investing for the construction of plant, gold mining plant in those deposits in Russia which were bought by the company with the share in equity 50 to 50. And we are to raise 100 million US dollars for the construction of this plant. And I believe in case from December, January next year, we start raising, mobilizing uh, money for the construction of this plant. Then in two years, 2021, 2022, the plant will be constructed. And then in 2023, we start producing from five to nine tons of uh, uh, gold in a month or a year. I don't remember as the deposits uh, are quite large. 800 uh, tons in total, I believe, then in 2023, this year could be the year of very high dividends. These are my expectations, my hopes. Can we buy UNTB before the launch of exchange? No, UNTB are not sold. So they are accrued to your crypto wallet at the start and then everything the people will earn as staking, it will be available in the external exchange and the in, uh, initial price for NTB is one cent. So please remain, uh, remind us about the time when the first uh, release is done. So 300 days is over plus 30. So 300 and then in the first month, 330 days, there is a release of 1%. 360, another 1%, 390, another 1%. This is within the first six months. As soon as we move to STO, then it won't be 330, but 365 under the requirements of SEC. So it should be for one uh, calendar year, 365. But while we are using our old rules, so the release in 330, but it will be changed as soon as we do STO. I'd like to buy EIP Golden Anniversary. Will I get CIUs? Yes, uh, Golden Anniversary EIP includes CIU points. A question about UNTB, can I buy or not? No, you can't. When will you publish white paper? I expect that in September it will be posted. I am afraid to give the exact dates as now we submitted all the documents with SEC 
and quite successful, by the way, and this white paper is divided into two parts. The first one is a prior placement memorandum. This is the prospectus of stock issuance. This is a confidential part, and we may not publish it on the website. Private placement memorandum could be available only to the accredited investors, to corporate investors. Who accredited investors are? They are those people whose income is over 1 million US dollars a year. And in the account, they have a statement that there they have at least 200,000. This private placement memorandum will be available only to accredited investors. Whereas the addendum to this private placement memorandum, this is the white paper as such. But this white paper actually includes almost what you already know, what you can see in our website, in our memorandum, our plans, what that we plan to build the global investment portfolio and white paper actually details all this and in addition uh, the name of the token you all know this and as soon as the texts of these documents and the final draft is posted on the website of the, of the uh, Security and Exchange Commission of the US, then this addendum, which is the white paper, it will be posted on our website. What is the stage of the negotiations with uh, SEC in percentage? I don't know. The first stage of this process of document check and making some adjustments, this stage is over. It's complete. Now we are submitting all the documents. So they are uh, uploaded to the website of SEC and in closed meeting to take place in mid-September, I believe Andrei Havratov will detail this further. In case a legal entity buys EIP with CIU points, will it get profit bonus, dividends, UNTB from staking as an individual or as a legal entity, as an institution? Look, here the decision will be made by the uh, CEO of this business. He may select a strategy to get all these bonuses, dividends, UNTB as an individual. Remember, I gave you an example of these bonus files provided by airlines. The business pays for, a, for an air ticket, whereas an individual benefits from these miles. And here, the CEO of the business may decide that all these benefits and bonuses, uh, bonuses will be used by himself as an individual. But an individual at the end of the year will get an obligation to pay a tax, an individual, inc individual person in income tax, in case he gets this uh, CIU points as a gift at price equal to zero, and then he sells them at the exchange or gets some profit as the profit bonus, then he, as an individual, will get some income, and then he is to pay a tax, an individual income tax in Russia. This is 13% for individuals. Therefore, here, a person is to decide on himself. Uh, in case uh, the in the Russian simplified taxation system, so there, are, uh, there is the simplified tax, which is lower than for him. It is uh, much beneficial to get all these incomes, profit bonus, dividends as an institution and get only 7%. But in case he acts as an individual, then the income tax will be 13%. You are to decide. Can and you... I can you store the private key on the company server? Yes, there will be a box to check and you can check your level. If you say basic, like you're an average user, then you indicate your email to be able to restore your private key. If you select advanced, like advanced user, then you keep or store the private key yourself. Are there any limitations on the peer-to-peer um, -peer exchange of CIU? Yes, there are. The maximum order that you can put up for the purchase of 
released CRUs is 2,000 units, and the maximum CRU sale, sell order is 10,000 CRU per one order. These are the only limitations on the size of the orders. If SEC delays the approval for 12 more months, what happens? Because they often do it. We already went to the registration by SEC. Nothing has been delayed. How can a person participate in staking if they just joined us? Well, for you to participate in staking or inside the back office, either in, in the back office or in the blockchain, you need to have unlocked CRU points. You need to buy them at the internal exchange. And then in October, when we prepare the procedure for staking of locked CRU points, they will have the opportunity to, to stake both their locked and unlocked CRU points. Whereas today, to use the staking in your back office in September, you need to buy unlocked CRU points on our internal exchange. Will the exchange work automatically as in the Bitcoin platform? Well, guys, we have a video recorded for you to show you how our internal exchange works. Last Saturday, we posted that uh, video in our news section in the back office. The video was translated into English, Spanish, Italian, I think Hindi as well. It, it's five minutes long, a video showing you how our internal exchange work. If you didn't see that or watch that video, go to our YouTube channel and everything is gonna be fine. Will our token be on market cap? Yes. The market cap places information about the token after the token goes to the external exchange. As soon as we place our token on the external exchange, we submit an application to the coin market cap. They will monitor us for three months and see whether there are tradings, tra if there is trading going on or that we did not disappear anywhere and they will give you the approval. How many UNTBs I will be able to get for my unlocked CRUs? Every half a second, 40 UNTBs are mined. In one day, around 7 million UNTBs are generated. So all those people who will stake their CRUs will have to share those 7 million UNTBs per day. Someone will get more, someone will get less, depending on how much you staked in crypto unit. So 207 million per month will be, UNTBs per month will be allocated across all people who staked their CRUs. When we will be able to see SEC certificate. I think during our closed meeting on the 7th of September, if I'm not mistaken, and on the closed meeting, I think you will see it. Will there be packages for 1,000, not only during Gold Friday, but also with installment plans? Yes, yes, there will be. Verification on blockchain you do not have verification on the blockchain because wallets are anonymous. There will be verification only on the external exchange. Do not mix up, confuse wallets with internal external exchange. Not, the data will not be migrated automatically because to the external exchange because it's, it's um, a separate legal entity and they have to comply to anti-money laundering policies. So you'll have to go through the verification again at the external exchange. Now, will we, we will receive UNTBs for staking and will we receive profit bonus from our staked CRUs? Yes, of course. Our profit bonus will be accrued in USDUs and UNTBs will be given for staking. It is impossible to buy UNTBs now. I already said it. Can you withdraw money from selling CRU points to your current account? I guess you mean bank account. 
I guess you have to go and see what uh, payment systems and options are there in your country, in our back office. Usually we can uh, withdraw to Bitcoin, Ethereum, because, you know, we work with cryptocurrencies. As for the withdrawal into fiat money, well, sometimes our financiers, financial experts can add different payment systems. Sometimes they disconnect them or deactivate them. You can ask this question on the 5th of September. Our financial department will be reporting to us and you can ask this question regarding the withdrawal to your bank account. Now, what is going to be the loyalty bonus in October? You will learn about it on the 5th of September. Oh, no, give me. In October for September. Look, the loyalty bonus is accrued depending on the turnover of the company during the last month. So if in September we get a turnover, then 10% of that turnover of that volume will go to the loyalty program bonus bonuses, the way it works right now. In how many days unlocked CRUs? What? Just give me a second. So in how many days uh, unlocked CRUs from staking appear in your back office? Well, if you mean like unstaked CRUs, you get them 72 hours after you unstake them. Can we buy unlocked CRU points on the external exchange and participate in staking? Well, we already answered that. You cannot buy UNTBs separately. You can get UNTBs only if you have CRU points and you staked those CRU points. In the back office, we have to sign the contract, which is in Russian. Can we have it translated into English? Most probably you mean the contract that relates to the internal exchange. The translation is being done all the time. Our translation service are translating all our documents into Spanish, Italian, Arabic, Spanish and when we have the new stage when the servers are updated all those translations will be uploaded as well i think by the 2nd of september all the internal exchange rules will be in all the languages what's going to be the profi bone uh, what's going to be the loyalty program bonus in november the same 10% CRUs staked in, in the back office, will they stay there or they will go to the Explorer or should we transfer them? Nothing is going to be transferred automatically. You will go to your wallet yourself. Then you will have to store the secret 12 words and your private key. And then you will have to move your CRU points to the blockchain. And the fact that you cannot see unlocked CRU points coming from staking on your blockchain, people are asking, when are you going to fix the Explorer? We don't need to fix it because when you move to the crypto wallet, it doesn't matter how many transactions with unlocked CRUs you had in your back office. It will be important how many unlocked CRU points you actually have at the time of the migration to the blockchain. In the Explorer, the Explorer correctly displays all the purchases that you made, all the marketing plan uh, points accrued, bonuses accrued, only the movement of the unlocked CRU points is not displayed. And when we move to the crypto wallet, wallet and the only thing we have to keep track of is the number of unlocked CRU points actually in existence when you click the button move to the blockchain. 
what happened with UG Pay? Nothing happened with UG Pay. It's alive and kicking. Uh, we have lawyers working with UG Pay and the programmers. Now we are addressing the issues of opening the bank uh, account for the UG Pay in Switzerland and other countries. Then to those bank accounts, we will add the acquiring payment systems. So the work is being uh, conducted. It hasn't been suspended even for a day. When our debit cards are gonna be ready, well, bank cards, when our bank cards are gonna be ready, will the monthly fee is be charged for using it, them? Well, it's gonna depend on the banks. It's going to depend on the banks with whom we're going to conclude our partnership agreements. Some banks charge a commission for issuing the card and this commission, the fee, covers the issue for three years. So the card is issued for three years, you pay one off uh, charge and that's it. You do not pay any service fees. Other banks, on the other hand, can issue their bank cards for free, but then they charge you two and a half, three dollars per month for like monthly fee. But in my opinion, it's better to pay one time for the issue of the card and then for three years, you don't have to pay for anything. But it depends on the bank, of the issuing, on the issuing bank. We as a payment system cannot uh, issue our own cards in each country. On the agreement with Visa and MasterCard, a, an issuing bank will be selected that issues cards. So if you give you an example of the Advocash payment system in Russia, in Russia, the partner bank of this system is a talk bank. And then a courier brings the card to the user. Although the payment system is Advocash, the card is issued by the local bank, the Russian bank. So our system is Swiss, while the issuing bank are different. In Russia, you have your own bank, in the United States, your own bank, and in India, it will be another local bank. So how can partners will know about their 12 digit code of the crypto wallet? When today you move to blockchain using the link, you will see your 12 digit code and you will have to keep it. Only people who came from outside, like simply walked in and don't have their own back office and will have their crypto wallet generated, created, they will have a different cipher or code. You have already a code assigned to you and you can go and check your 12 digit code right now. After the STO, will CRU tokens be unlocked as today, one month, 1% 1 per month or after 365 days, or will they be unlocked altogether? No, the procedure is the same. You need to understand that we have lots of tokens, 80 billion tokens altogether. We cannot have them all uh, unlocked immediately because there will be huge dumping of price. Lots of shares will be thrown into the market. That's why we'll have gradual unlocking. Blockchains, this blockchain system will automatically buy our orders. Nobody's gonna buy your orders automatically. The orders on the external exchange are bought and sold by people, not the blockchain itself. You put up an order for sale or for purchase. And what the internal exchange does, it's a exchange mechanism, it picks all the orders and matches those orders with counter orders. If you sell, the system will find a counter order of buy. If you cannot buy UNT, sell UNTB, it means you cannot sell UNTB. Well, you cannot buy UNTB today because the issue of UNTB hasn't started yet. They do not exist yet. They haven't been born yet. And the company itself, the crypto unit company, does not sell UNTBs. That's what I mean by saying you cannot buy them. But people who have today CRU tokens 
and they will put them on staking on blockchain, they will mine UNTBs and they can sell them. And you can buy those UNTBs from them on the exchange after the issue starts of UNTB. How will our CAU be transferred from internal exchange to the external exchange? How can we establish that they belong to us? Well, look, in the back office, you use like the external ex internal exchange. You did the exchange and all, the, all those released CRU points that you bought go to your portfolio. For example, you buy 10,000 released unlocked CRU points. They go to your portfolio. At the same time, you have in your portfolio 100,000 locked CRUs. So your tokens have no relation whatsoever, either to the internal or ex external exchange. They are in your portfolio. When you click the button, go to the blockchain, you download your crypto wallet, and then you move your released and locked CRU points to your crypto wallet. Then in your back office, you will see zero. All of your tokens will be in your crypto wallet, but it doesn't mean that your tokens will all of a sudden go to the exchange by themselves. For them to go to the external exchange, you need to open an exchange account, go through the verification, click on the button, transfer of funds, and then transfer your CRUs from your wallet to the exchange account, external exchange account, as is the case with the Bitcoin. If my Bitcoins are on my telephone in my wallet, it doesn't mean that they are on the exchange. And how can I prove that those Bitcoins are mine? But since the private key to that wallet is owned by me only, then those Bitcoins are mine. Similarly here, when you open your crypto wallet, you can follow the link from your back office. And I hope nobody has access to your back office, but you then you move on to the crypto wallet, you save the private key somewhere, and this is it. This wallet is yours and the tokens are yours. Nobody else will have access to your wallet. Hopefully I answered your question. So I don't see any new questions in the um, Q&A. Давайте мы еще по... So the guys, do we make our own price in the external exchange? It was on naked chucks. The, yeah, you can either use the market price or the limit price. The limit price is the price that you set yourself. Guys, regarding the um bank cards mastercards visa cards and the atms this question is about ugpa but nobody will be able to give you the specific deadlines at our closed meetings we will tell you about the stages that have been uh went through so far but um, you can't say that you get you'll get your bank cards tomorrow or the day after it's a very long process there are lots of um processes to go through there will be we will you will have your bank cards but there were no deadlines really here the question is what will happen to our unblocked CRUs if i don't subscribe to vap nothing's going to happen to them they are in your portfolio your locked unlocked CRUs if you don't want to stake them if you don't want to sell them then you'll keep them and when we have our external blockchain exchange you don't need to be a vap club member you just open your crypto wallet 
and all of your CRU points that you have in your portfolio will be moved to your blockchain. Nothing is going to happen. Everything is going to be cool. Guys, in the English chat, that's it. Uh, but we have a couple of questions from the Italian chat. The current value of CRU, that's what people would like to know. Well, at the moment, if we divide the CRU points that the person can get by purchasing EAPs, then the average value is 20, 25 cents per CRU. From the 1st of September, the price is going to be around 30 cents per CRU. That's the current price. Thank you very much. Then another question. Will we be able to withdraw the commission fees uh, after staking uh, with a Skyway card? Uh, this is kind of a we weird question, guys. I don't know anything about the existence of a Skyway card and how can you withdraw our commission fees from our blockchain using someone else's card. Guys, in our crypto wallet, we'll have crypto fiat gateway. When you are inside your crypto wallet, you will be able to withdraw money or deposit money using your bank card, either with the bank card of your own bank or our payment system card. But you don't have to wait for two years. You can do it uh, way sooner, if I understood correctly your question. Like exchange the cryptocurrency and then, uh, you know, withdraw the money directly to your card. Well, we're working on it on the crypto fiat gateway so that in our crypto wallet, we have the opportunity to withdraw money to your cards in fiat currency. It will happen way sooner than two years, guys. I sure I assure you. Guys, if you join today and pay the VIP club subscription uh, and you want to have the subscription valid until the very end of September, you'll have to pay for the subscription two times. Okay, one more question from the Spanish chart, chat. Uh, will there be enough uh, space on uh, the Android phone on, for our wallets? You know, we do not install the application on your phone. You go to the website, wallet.cryptounitcc. And we enter the name of our wallet and the closed key. So it won't have any, it won't occupy any space on your phone. You go online on our website, crypt wallet crypto unit CC. Maria, can we generate our own private digital code from 12 digits for the blockchain? Well, for those partners who are, who have already their back offices and have an account in our back offices, no, you can't because the link is linked to your back account, back office, and you have already a pre-assigned digital code. And if you change the name of the account, you lose access to your crypto units. But 
if you want to have a separate wallet with a unique combination of symbols, I don't know, Crown Victoria 777, then you will have this opportunity to open a separate wallet, which is not directly related to your back office. And there you will pick your own 12 characters, symbols. And if no one picked the same name before you, then you can attach this account to you. And you'll have two wallets. In one wallet, you'll have things that you withdraw from the back office. And the second uh, wallet will be made from scratch. And you can take all your unleased, unreleased, unblocked uh, tokens and move there. If you have, would like to have a cool name or something. And then the locked CRUs will be in your original first wallet. I know that the EOS blockchain has even an auction for the names of the wallets. It's like domains of websites, you know, when uh, domain dot com domains were started, lots of people registered right away some cool names, very short, cool names, and then they put them on auction for sale. And that's how it works with EOS crypto wallets. There are people who registered a lot of different unique names, cool names like superstar or something like that. Crypto lady, Batman, Superman, something like that. And then they put those accounts for sale because they are anonymous. Uh, there is this uh, auction of account names. On our blockchain, uh, you can do the auction of names as well. But for that, you'll have to spend your UNTB tokens to open many, many wallets with different names. What is gonna happen to the CRU accounts that are not gonna be verified until the 1st of October? Well, they will be suspended and verified unless people go through the verification, they won't be able to go to blockchain. They will be suspended in limbo. You know, I think we'll have to keep those back offices for at least three years when the entire unlocking happens. We'll write letters, reminders to those people for them to go into their back office, uh, verify it, and then move their tokens to the blockchain. We assessed the activity of our users. We saw that Right now, we almost have 800,000 accounts with CRU points in them, in them. And 50% of people go to the website. It's 400,000 people every month. Partners go to their back offices. And we don't know whether it's the same uh, people, 400,000 people, or it's different people. For example, in July, we could have a first batch of 100,000 in July, a second batch of 100, and then August and September. But statistically, 50% of our active partners do not go to their back offices. And of course, when we move to blockchain, we will be sending letters and reminders to our partners and if you have big structures, you have your own chat, then you will be asking your partners to move to blockchain because within three years, we're gonna keep uh, that data in the back office. And then I don't know what we're gonna do with those um, tokens three years later, how we're gonna search and rescue our shareholders who do not keep track of their balances. We have there is a, a question. question from the Italian chat. Can we do tokenization of external projects not related to CIU at our blockchain? If yes, when? As soon as we move to blockchain and you all get your cryptocurrencies and the external exchange is functional, then we will consider applications of external companies for tokenization. So far, we received four applications who would like to issue their tokens on our blockchain. 
two applications for the issue of utility tokens, not security tokens, and one application for security tokens. And the fourth one is in separate tokens for gold producing plant. It's not a third party project, it's our project, but there will be a separate token, security token for gold mining plant. And all the external projects, they will fill out the specific form at our exchange. There will be a form to fill out, to issue the tokens, the name of the token, either utility or security, the number of these tokens in case they are security tokens, what is the collateral, the security as shares or stock, like in any other exchange. There will be this form, this application form. Will we get loyalty bonus from selling, from the sales uh, generated by the company at the exchange? I don't know. I have no answer to your question. Quite likely, yes, but look, it's not the exact, it's not the accurate answer because the loyalty program is valid until 2021. The document submitted to e, uh, SEC, so uh, uh, loyalty bonus from any sales will be kept until 2021. There is another question from the Italian chat. If today I terminate or cancel my staking, what time after I will get all my CIU back to open a contract for 24 months staking? You should receive it. You should receive it on the same day. So you are to receive them within a few hours on the same day or even in case you didn't re you don't receive them in a few minutes so you are to contact the support team and accordingly immediately you may stake it for 24 months but please do the math. In case you staked for one month, you'd better terminate your contract and stake again for 24 months. It will be more profitable. But you are to do the math first. Will we in the future have an application to work with up to cryptocurrency? Yes, an application cryptocurrency is included into our plan roadmap so the design of this application for app store and android and but i believe it will be closer to january february because now the launch of the public exchange with the issue of tokens and uh, those applications received from third party projects and companies, we will work a lot with this. And only next year, we will start designing our application, wallet application for the phone. And next year by July, we plan, June, by June, we plan that cryptocurrency will be as a memory stick as the cold wallet we do have it as a plan because at that time on our blockchain there will be a lot of um, tokens as a ledger with a lot of different tokens we'd like to create this usb stick or memory stick uh, as well there is another question let's assume that on the 15th of september i staked 1,000 unblocked CIU at 2.5%. As far as I understand, at the end of September, even 
uh, 20 days is over, I will get my interest of 2.5%. Yes, you got it right. And do I understand it correctly that this interest of 2.5% will be as such with no recalculation? Yes, you got it right. After migrating to blockchain, will we be able to stake for 24 months? No, it won't be available anymore. Staking in back, inside back office will terminate by the 1st of October. All the interests will be accrued all the balances will be verified and you will see all your tokens in your portfolio balance. And then as soon as we migrate to blockchain, you will get UNTB after staking. After getting my 2.5% interest, but my unblocked CIU were staked within 15 days, Will these CIUs continue to be staked for the remaining 24 months? No, no. The full deposit, your full package of CIU will be sent back with the interest accrued and the original investment of your CIUs. So you will get your CIUs back in addition to 2.5% interest. To avoid all the other similar questions, we can say that all those CIUs that are staked now on the 2nd of October, on the 1st of October, they will be backed to your account, to your portfolio, to your portfolio account. All the CIUs will be returned back, all those initially staked. Dear friends, I'm very thankful to all of you for being an active participant of our webinar. I see that your questions are repeated. The last question from the Italian chat there are some limitations on the daily application for exchange. What are they? Look, all the rules of exchange could be seen in back office. When you tick that I agree with the new terms and conditions of exchange, please open this document and read it through. There you will see everything the limits for orders, limits in CIU, in units, and you will find the description there. We won't waste time on it today. In case you failed to answer the question to your, the answer to your question, please rewatch the recording of this webinar. Hopefully, we answered all the questions. There is good news that Golden Friday has been extended to the 31st of August and the opportunity to buy EIPs with CIU attached for institutions for corporate accounts and uh, a unique opportunity to get the CIU points as a gift after staking at the full interest, even without being staked within the whole calendar month. Guys, thank you very much for your interest, for your participation. Enjoy your weekend and looking forward to seeing you again and again. Bye-bye and stay classy.